Benris SFO. Hello everyone, Benris here. That time of the year is upon us again. Time for the new DLC for Total War Warhammer 2. The Twisted and the Twilight will be released very soon, so let's talk about what's gonna happen with SFO Gloomhammer 2 in coming weeks. Just a note, footage you are going to see here is from Nathan from the Great Book of Grudges channel and SFO Kings and Raiders comic update. Thanks Nathan for permission, here's your reward. Mod will be dead. Even more dead than Warhammer Fantasy right now. New DLC changes will break mod, so it won't work as it was same with all previous DLCs. Process of mod fixing will start right after proper playthrough of all new Legendary Lords by the team. I will be streaming campaigns on this channel. You can find pool for the first stream in pinned comment. Then we will start fixing changed tables so mod can work again. Units changes are always a first thing we do and then proper beta will be released. After that we will start implementing SFO changes to new Legendary Lords campaign and new beta will be released. Then, after many fixes, sleepless nights and baby cries, we will release the mod to public, fully working with Kings and Raiders update. Also, remember that patrons always get opportunity to see whole updating process first hand and are able to decide about coming changes. All the rest can follow me on Twitter or Discord to get latest news. Kings and Raiders is new SFO update that is in works for a couple of months. It focuses on total rework of Tomb Kings and Norska factions. Okay, okay, and <laughs> legendary lord mechanics for Trench, Scrog and Quick. You will probably ask now why this update is not released yet. I saw first beta for it many weeks ago. What's going on? Hold on. Let me explain with one image. For over a month, my family is in the middle of a full apartment renovation. As our son is growing, he requires more and more attention, our love. That attention makes my work at home much harder. My PC was in living room when everyday family life had a place. So you can imagine that focus there was a rare thing. With wife, we decided to move some walls and make small office for me where I can work much, much more efficient. So we started renovation, but that life likes to kick you in the fragile places. Renovation expanded from two rooms to almost whole apartment because of many difficulties. Good news are that renovation is at its end and in coming weeks I will end finally and I will be able to work better, stream more often and make this channel fully living with regular videos. And what is more important, spend time with my family, clearing my head so you can get better content. This is a question that I get a lot since DLC was announced. There are several things that I can say about it. Some good and some bad. Let's make it short then. Trailer was very medicore. No story there, very medicore music, only units showcase. Maybe it's because last trailer was so damn good. It's a Skaven DLC. Everything here is cool and looks OP as hell. Skaven even have custom UI panel when Woodolf's got uh, dilemmas. New units overall are very uninspiring. In lore, there are much more interesting units to add, especially for Wood Elves. Making proper three armies would be better than more of the same units, just higher tiers. Zolts are a real exception here, even that I really hate that 40k unit. Ogre vibes. Wood Elves rework have some very good parts like deep root teleportation, Umber changes and forest healing, but also very bad things, like outputs being more and more useless, butchered buildings option, or very medical tech tree. Previous Greenskins rework was much better in my opinion. Here it's a very mixed bag. 
good free LC Lord. It's a Imric quality, so no reason to not be happy here. Drychalov. She looks much better than the sisters campaign. Some good quality of life changes for whole game. That is always welcome sight. That would be all, I think. Won't say more because I don't have early access to the DLC, so need to play before proper judgment. We may make a DLC review, but no promises. Let's get to patrons' questions, as before. Sunrise asks, Will SFO integrate more unit mod like Tom Bark and Goblin Spear Chakas? No plans for that. What do you think that Ariel is a legendary hero, not a lord? I like this idea a lot. Farra13 asks, What banners are coming in the Kings and Raiders updates? No banners. After this update, we will get back to banners again with Chaos Ruby and HN. What is your favorite feature of this update? New Legendary Lord mechanics. What future plans do you guys have for the new content? Dark Elves and High Elves rework and then only Legendary Lords mechanics. Have you any ideas for the upcoming Dark Elves and High Elves overhaul? Yes, a lot. Update when? Plus one day after each such question. BNU10, a lot of questions here. What are early Norska Dilemmas buffs and unit upgrades effects? Which one is most fun to you? All of those you can see on the beta. That is public. But I like the Nurgul the most. Who's your favorite legendary lord after this update from Norska and Tomb Kings? Kalida and Wolfric. Any new content after defeating Archeon as Wolfric? Norska final rewards were all reworked. After Tomb King's final battle, the rewards changes. Each legendary lord have different rewards. Just a small note, we are adding more and more uh, final rewards for the factions, like Bretonia, Empire for example, and those that had those rewards in Vortex campaign, now also have them in Mortal Empires. Any ETA on the new Skaven content Woodles DLC? Yes, plus one day after each such question. Oof asks Future ideas for Wood Elves and Moldor changes. Many of the old Wood Elves mechanics will be added to the specific legendary lords. As for Moldor, probably mostly nerves. Balzapon asks Favorite fruit? I think strawberry. Definitely strawberry. A new shall bring life. Before we end, I want to say thank you for all patrons, supporters and those that helped create this mod. I hope to see you all on DLC release stream and banner is out!